Hi everyone! Today's project I will start by mixing uh, two acrylic paints directly on my paper. In order for paints to blend easier I added just a bit of water. For this particular project I didn't care much about leaving visible brush strokes as I knew I will do still a lot of work over it. The second step for my background was to add it a sort of a frame using this beautiful floral frame stencil from the latest release from Art by Merlin. For making the frame I used two of the colors which I already used for my background making, but I also added a darker shade called Mud Fight which was only on the edges. And after adding some splatters I started working on my composition. Off camera I have stamped and colored these three parrots from the Don't Worry stamp set and now I'm trying to decide on their position. Now I wanted to give my parrot something to stand on so I decided to hand draw some branches. Making these branches was actually more easy than, my, than it might look and the whole process consists of few steps which I will try to explain on this one branch. First step after sketching my branch was to add the first layer of acrylic paint onto it. For this I used the same acrylic paint which you can see on the edges of my paper. On camera you can see me putting my first layer but later off camera I would put another one. So my branch wouldn't look too flat, I needed to add some shadows to it. And for that I used this uh, watercolor brush pan in black color which I just blended with my water brush. Next thing that I did was to outline my branch using a fine tip Posca pen in black color. And the final step in making my branches was to add some highlights using my gel pen. And keep on mind this whole process I repeated for all of my branches. Now, as I wanted my page to have more of a spring feeling and not this naked winter look, I decided to add some flowers. These flowers I have cut out from uh, one of the papers from the scrap paper from the latest released from Art by Merlin. And I'm adhering it to my branches using uh, a sticky multi glue. And finally it was time for the last step for my page and that is adding a sentiment. And I found the perfect sentiment in the same stamp set from where I took my parrots called Don't Worry. Oh, and beside the sentiments I also stamped those few music notes. Anyway, you all know how the stamping goes so I won't bore you with this process. But at the end, I hope you like my page and that I managed to inspire you on how to play with the products from the Art by Marlene Signature Collection. Have a nice day, guys! Bye!